This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Anyway, <laughs> my point is, as we're talking right now, hey, of Connie. course it's Connie. Yes. Hey, Connie, chat yes. me up. Oh, listen to this. What up, Ed Kosky? I know where chat that comes from. Yeah. Just chat me up. Is that the Are deal? You? Y'all just all sit around and, and, and make fun of me now when, when you're That's all on. I do. That's all I do my whole life. I just fuck it. Cause I have so much goddamn spare motherfucking time. Well, <sighs> speaking of all you do, let's just get you fired up now. I guess you saw a couple of weeks ago. Oh no. As you and I are recording this, uh, on January 22nd, <laughs> um, Meltzer had sent something out saying that you guys had done a really poor job planning the rumble, uh, and promoting the rumble. And he just wished that you guys had his work ethic and you were, you called me screaming. I want you, you know, because everybody knows that you and Vince have a reputation for being lazy vacationers. You know, everybody yeah. hears all about those famous Vince McMahon month long cruises and oh, yeah. all those pictures of him on the yacht, you know, yeah. all that stuff. I know all that stuff. Yeah. You know, the deal. Oh yeah. Y'all were just yeah. in Turks and Caicos, right? You know, so, so basically what he's saying is that our work ethic should just be to sit back and just, uh, work off of fucking hearsay rumor innuendo and made up facts. Well, I did see that Yokozuna documentary and you were still waving that banner about it with being added value to put the belt on Hogan after I screamed and hollered at you. Yeah, the whole they did, at least they did their due diligence and saw that was actually a fact. I mean, but now you're struggling with how calendars work. I mean, the war started on January 17th and you're acting like it didn't. You don't know that you weren't even born yet. I wasn't born January 17th, 1991. Yes, I was. No, you weren't. I love that you say that and grin. Can we start the show? You're lying. Can we just start That's the your show? line? Cause you got the work ethic of Dave Meltzer. You're a fucking <sighs> lazy fuck that goddamn doesn't do nothing but lie. Oh, well, I was going to say that's a great compliment. Cause everybody knows Dave Meltzer works 24 seven legitimately. And I do too. Oh yeah. oh yeah. He's just fucking awesome, man. He's so fucking great. And he, you know, what I really love is he, he, he just is able to fucking check all of his, wait a minute. I was going to say he checks all his facts, but I don't think he's ever printed one. Oh man, you just, you woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I can tell from looking at your hair. What's wrong with my hair? Well, I mean, I, oh, you all see something really fucked up. You should see the back of my head. It's well, I'm really going to tell you what I'm looking at right now. looks like a toilet brush. Looks, that part looks good. No, I mean, if you like, look at the, look at the back, look at the back. No, that's actually better. No, it's not. It's fucking goddamn too short. By the way, did you know that your brother looks more and more like you every day? Lucky bastard. Even when he blows his nose, y'all both blow your nose like horns. How do you blow your nose? Well, when I do, it doesn't make a horn noise where it goes. Arr. It's hilarious. But when I do blow my nose, I blow my nose with, with blue. Ch- <laughs> Can we do the fucking show, please? We got. I, I thought we have been. Oh, okay. Here we go. You Man. call me dog. See, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I, I sit here waited with bated breath. And I haven't even had a goddamn morsel of food yet at all. Me neither. Liar. No. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like fucking bacon biscuits and shit already. Day. I'm too. Dude. I wish Megan's got me on this bullshit. You know, Megan, bullshit. Megan got a Peloton. You knew that, but now she's got the Peloton treadmill. Now she's getting this stupid ass Pilates machine. So I'm eating all these like black rectangle boxes. What does that have to do with you? I, I know. I'm just saying like, there's no more cooking at my house. Now there's all this meal prep horse shit. That's just here. And it's like uh Forrest Gump, right? Life's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. I have no idea what's coming my way. And then, Hey, here's supper. It's teriyaki. Why don't you pineapple. tell her to cook something? Well, because with this way, she knows, you know, there's 400 calories in this or that. So I don't fucking know. But my, I guess my point is we all got problems, Bruce. Can we do the show? Again, I've been waiting days to do this show for you. First, what'd you say that we were supposed to well, do? We're doing, as we're, we're talking two, right now then. on the 22nd of June, <laughs> it's time to rumble. Here we go. 
Oh, it's been busy. Um, no excuse. I was just say I have to wash my hair, and if you look at it, it's all right now. You say, Bruce, that ain't true. <laughs> you ain't fucking washed your hair. But I'm good. It's all good, man. It's all good. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.